Hey guys, bright and early Monday morning for me, very first thing, um, and it is time for me to plan my week. I just had a really nice Mother's Day. Um, I don't think I opened my planner the entire weekend, uh, so I kind of have to go through here probably and check some things off and move some things uh, to next week's list. But, yeah, didn't change the sheets, because I forgot, because I didn't open this up. But this is the weekly spread that I've been using for the last couple of weeks, really just, what, three, four? Um, three, I think. Um, th no, I think this is week three. I've been really antsy about my, uh, my weekly spreads lately. And there's a couple of these sections that I'm not really using right now. So what I did was I pulled up the um, the Canva tutorial that Carrie Harlan made a few months ago. Um, when she posted it, I'm like, that's nice. That's not something that I would do. And then I was like, I kind of want to cover up this section. So I like last week, I just put a little bit of washi tape over it because I was using it as the weekly tracker. And then I decided I needed to track more things. Again, I have not been using a monthly tracker for a long time. Um, and I think it's finally time to try it again. They get for me to be just too overwhelming. Um, and they just, like I stop wanting to look at them and they become a source of guilt rather than inspiration and that's when I know that it's time to stop. So I stopped a few months ago uh, using a monthly tracker and only sometimes tracking things during the week. Um, and that's where I was and then I ran out of space on my weekly tracker because I'm supposed to start taking iron because I'm a gummy vitamin person. Wow. Did you hear that? That was a baby scream. <laughs> Hope you didn't hear that. My husband's gonna go get her. Um, she's just waking up. So I think I measured this one wrong. So I need to real quick check how wide it's really supposed to be. It is supposed to go just up here. Sorry, if you can see my head, it's going to be about one and a quarter inches. I had a really good Mother's Day. Um, it was like the perfect balance of like sweet, thoughtful things from my family and um, a really low-key, just enjoyable Sunday. Um, I got to run around in the sprinklers with my daughter. It was fun. Uh, maybe it was this one that I'd measured wrong. Because I think this is fine. Oh, no. no. How did I get that wrong while measuring it? I don't know what I just did. Okay, let's try that again. Could have sworn that I was just measuring that correctly. But I cut it wrong anyway. I'm good at this. All right. So this is just like if you label paper. And I just decided to cover up a few spots on here to kind of give it a cohesive theme, make it look like I know what I'm doing. Um, and we'll see what we think. Peeling these off is gonna be fun. Um, yeah, my husband made me eggs Benedict in the morning. That was really sweet because he's getting good at that now. Uh, I am so glad that I recommended we try learning how to make hollandaise sauce because I was afraid it was gonna be a long learning curve because for some reason our saga with carbonara has been complicated. There's a, oh, there's a period of time, I don't think that's going to come up, 
where we're making flawless carbonara. And then it started getting curdly again. I'm not sure what we started doing wrong. Um, but he's gotten the hollandaise down now, and it only took like three tries. And so he woke me up with that. Or he was trying to. He had it all on the breakfast in bed tray ready to go, but then like right before he finished, um, the baby woke up with a poopy diaper. <laughs> and so when we finished up in the bathroom, <laughs> Um, it was, he brought it in and he's like, let's just go eat in the kitchen. I said, yeah. And then we had TV church, you know, and then I think, yeah, my mother-in-law came over in the afternoon, um, because she has been coming over to watch her, um, until she started to, she had to go back to work, actually. This is a little bit off. It's, it's a line on the bottom, but not on the top. All right. We'll just sort of hope that I don't notice that too much. Um, in the afternoon while Agnes was napping, I managed to paint my nails. So, it's not the very best job I've done ever. I have been doing gel manicures lately which are I think sometimes a little more forgiving if you're willing for the, to take a nice long time getting it just right they can be very forgiving because they don't dry at all while you are working with it uh, before you stick it under the lamp it doesn't dry at all and so uh, I'm able to go over and like confirm that there's no bubbles <laughs> And be like really really fastidious about perfection and I only do like two or three nails at a time and it takes me forever but it looks good for a long time but then also it takes forever to get off and I've been really impatient like the whole thought of getting out the acetone I end up healing them all right here we are we've got some stickers uh, basically I followed the the tutorial that um, Carrie Harlan did for how she uses Canva to make her stickers. And she, uh, I used the same free photo for all of them so that they're all like a theme. I'm just going to pull out here. This is the monthly tracker that I'm using instead of the weekly tracker. And I'm pulling this out so I can check what these two highlighters look like and see which one matches the sticker better. I think I'll go with the lighter one because I think it kind of has a brighter kind of feel to it. I'm just going to highlight my headers here. So I think this is the last week I'm going to be using this weekly. I have it printed, so I'm using it right now. But I want to kind of try some experimentation in the next couple weeks. And this one is fine. Um, I like that the size of these boxes sort of invites me to some slight creativity in terms of what I'm showing because it's really just a little bit of a space for like maybe one to-do item, but mostly for events, and there's like one event per day generally. Um, this one was last week, and so I um, have space for like a little box to put the event in, or just to like decorate it with a sticker or something. Um, this here will be still all right, I'm going to do cursive. I always regret doing cursive. This is the dinner menu. I know that we're doing leftovers tonight. Because we made a big dinner last night. And then tomorrow... We accidentally bought two cabbages instead of one. So I'm going to make lumpkin. Alright, and then this is 
to do. Did I? Do I? Do I? Use some of these stickers. There's not really space here, and also I don't have all of the correct stickers that I would want for headers for that, but if I can find the ones I'm looking for. I used to keep stickers set aside, like in my planner, ready to go, and lately I have just been sticking them all in the same box in my drawer, so that I don't have to like worry about carrying them around the house, but also it's a little bit of a pain to find the ones I need. Here we go. This is what us to do. This is from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. They're adorable. I love the handwriting. It just took forever to ship here from Canada. So that's, if you're Canadian, check her out. Or if you're very patient, check her out. All right. I'm just going to add a few events and or tasks. I know that from last week, I've got, oh, it's on the back of here. A couple of leftover things. Do you need to change the sheets? And Queen Clancy. Clancy is our robot vacuum. And call bank. Yeah, I thought that was funny last week for like the first uh, this many tasks all started to see. It was being cute. Okay, let's see. We got Mother's Day checked off. And this week is the 11th through the 17th. So, the only thing is Wednesday formation and our anniversary. Let me put the dates, actually. I'm just going to use just gonna use this. Alright. The thing about this weekly is the dates go this way and I don't know, I'm not sure if that is intuitive or not. I don't know if it would make more sense to go this way. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't. <laughs> but it's a little bit tricky to find the date you're looking for uh, quickly. Just like at a glance, you have to pay attention to where you're looking. I guess once in the morning and then you remember for the rest of the day, but... Mm. Anyway, so Wednesday is formation night. We have this evening event that we've been... Here, this is my sticker box. It used to have oatmeal. Um, mm, that'll do. I'm going to use one of these in a bit. It was like a thing that you go to a place to go for. Uh, it was an event, you know, like the way that events used to be, where you went places. And then it lasted like maybe three, maybe four weeks. And then the world fell apart and now it is online. And honestly, it's kind of nice because it doesn't like derail our entire life. The first couple of weeks were tough because it's a 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. thing. So the first two weeks were like, all right, it's just going to be a late night for the baby. And she didn't, she just got so tired and silly and distracting and we couldn't focus on the event because she was being cute and, you know, frankly, annoying. Um, and so we we're like, okay, we're going to leave at eight. And so we did that for one, maybe two weeks. Maybe it's went on longer than I thought. Um, and then this all happened and we uh, are able to just, one of us will go put her down to bed while the other one attends the thing and then we'll come back and we'll do it both together. And you know, it's fine. Like one of us misses out on part of it, but it's fine. And it's just a lot more low key and less stressful. I don't think I'm ever gonna use like what do you what do you use these stickers for if you do? It's like for three things, right? Last week I put one in the top box up here. It was a little bit too big for that box, and I only ended up having one thing on there. 
I thought, surely I'll find something else to add. But no, I did not. Alright, I'm not sure what I'm looking for here. I'm looking for something to go here that's going to be big and pretty and blue, preferably. Because Thursday is our anniversary. Oh, I know I should use these. And then also in a sort of events shape. And an emoji. Okay. Oh, here we go. I think these are the ones I'm looking for. But I'm always checking this little sampler. Nah. I don't think I have any like heart stickers that are blue. Alright. What do you think? No. No sparkles. No sparkles. Um, this one or this one or oh this one. This is the one. Oh, or this one. There's like this very slight shade variation. I guess this one. So it makes it tricky to pick exactly the right one. Okay, so this is the guy. Thursday is our fourth wedding anniversary. Got married in 2016. We started dating in 2013, in the fall of 2013. So that's our story. This one or this one? This one. So this goes in the bottom. So these are our thoughts. Is I think what we're gonna do for our anniversary. My husband just suggested this, and I'm like, of course, why didn't I think of that? It's perfect. Is to pick the red emoji. Yeah, it's just it's this one. Not the sad one, the happy one. And we'll just put it here. Um, we're gonna go to the, um, to, we're gonna go drive down to the coast because there's a red tide going on and there has been and it's something that I've never witnessed in person or heard about um, and it's going, been going on for a long time so like pray that it doesn't end on Tuesday or something um, and actually I have to probably decide what we're doing for dinner as well we have options. So we're gonna give Agnes a, a late nap and then load her up in the car seat for the first time in two months. She has not been in a car in two months. And we're gonna head down there and check it out. I think just probably look from a cliff top or something. Um, probably not go down on the beach, but just watch the waves come in and I think it'll be really cool. So I think this is all I have for now. Things will come up and I'll add things to here, but um, just generally, this is what it's been like. And it's not too bad. I don't mind it being a little bit sparser occasionally. Though like I said, I will, probably will add things. So this is where I keep track of, or keep track of, sort of plan ahead a little bit of what I'm gonna make for dinner. I sometimes will just add some notes of like the meals that we have the ingredients for. Um, and then, just cross them off when they're done or sometimes it'll be like I did here an actual like on this date we want to make this um, and then this is I'm trying to just do like focus on one thing per day like today obviously I'm working on the weekly plan with me video and if I can just get the video done by the end of the night then um, I won't have to worry about it anymore and that way I can do like five or six things during the week. Um, and that's pretty much it. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you found this interesting. Do check out that tutorial from Carrie Harling, which I'm sure I've already linked. If I have it, it'll be down in the description below. And um, I will see you guys in the next video, which is going to be uh, about my registry slash like wish list for baby stuff. So if you're interested in all that, can you stay tuned and I will see you on Sunday. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you.